Aaron Marshall, the CEO of Over, is joining me in studio. He's going to tell us about the Over app that was created right here in Cape Town. Hello, Aaron. Hello. Very excited to have you here. Glad to be here. It's very hard to get a hold of you. You were just in California for a month. Yep. Well, the States for six weeks. The States for six yeah. weeks. Wow. And you were originally from the States? Yep. Grew up in, uh, was born in Portland, grew yep. up on the West Coast, Southern California. And then lived in Kentucky for eight years. Awesome, and now you're in Cape Town. Now we're in Cape Town. Well, you're doing some very exciting stuff in the creative atmosphere here in Cape Town. But first, I want to talk about your trip to the States. You went to the, what was it called, the Apple? The, they call it WWDC for uh, short. There we go, the yeah. WWDC yeah. conference. Yep, but it's the Worldwide Developer Conference that Apple does. And uh, yeah, so every year they, they release new products, new mm -hmm. things, and everybody always waits for a new device, but mm -hmm. uh, this year was extra special. Yeah, it, there were some special things for developers that were announced this year. What were those things? Yeah, so like I said, it's usually about devices. This yeah. year it was all about developers and software. And uh, it was, uh, I tweeted actually that day, software emphasized. And uh, so it was, gave us a whole bunch of new tools to do amazing things, just mm -hmm. blew the top off of iOS. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about continuing to develop for the platform, so. That's awesome, so you're the CEO of Over. Right. Why don't you tell me about the Over app and how it came to be? Yeah, so look, we started a company probably four years ago, and uh, you never start a company with uh, just one product in mind. You, you yeah, start a company exactly. with this idea that you're gonna run lots of experiments, <laughs> and you're gonna, you're gonna learn and fail a lot. Mm -hmm. And so we started with a platform to run experiments, and we experimented our way through multiple apps, and uh, it, it's kind of a windy road. One was an internal social network, one was a goal sharing platform, and then it turned into this thing where we figured out that, hey, there's no real great way to put text on photos mm -hmm. uh, from a mobile device. And we're like, let's do that. And so we tested that one, and that was a successful experiment. And we've, that successful experiment's now turned into around 9 million installs and wow. a little business we've been able to create. So. That's great. Now, do you plan to add more functionalities to the app? Because right now you can add about 25 different fonts of text. Yeah, there's, there's probably, and we, with the additional upgrades, of mm -hmm. like 200 more. Um, but yeah, we want to take over, um, the, the neatest thing we see happening with Over, mm -hmm. a lot of people use it for fun, kitschy things. Right. Uh, but the neatest thing we see happening is people using Over professionally, and people using Over to create art and create real meaningful stuff. And so mm -hmm. we want to take it, keep it, keep it simplicity, but then give it more power so that people can make even more and more beautiful things. Mm -hmm. And also, potentially, we want to show up on people's resumes in the next couple of years as a tool that you would use as a qualification for employment. That's really awesome. Yeah. Okay, now, it currently is on all Apple devices. Right. Do you plan to take it over to Android? We do. We're actively working on our Android platform version right now, so. Nice. Well, Coming you were tell soon. you were telling me earlier that Cape Town has a lot of creativity, and that's part of the reason why you decided to come here and um, work on your startups. What kind of Creative, cre creativity do you see here in Cape Town? Yeah, so uh, the, our story is interesting because in, it was actually in Cape Town we were mm -hmm. inspired to start this business. In 2009, my wife and I visited here for like seven months and we just fell in love with the city. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, we had nothing really of value to bring or demonstrate to anybody that we should ha deserve any sort of visa. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, our idea was, hey, let's start a tech company. That seems like exactly what would fit really well here mm -hmm. um, with the creative and the tech th things that were already happening. And so that's what we went back and did and, and came back to do it. And uh, it went exactly as planned, just took us four years longer than we expected. Um, but yeah, as we've gotten back, look, I, I put out a job ad for uh, engineers. I was looking for uh, engineers to, to work on Android with us and, and just to grow the team in general. And within a week, I had multiple amazing candidates. Wow. And so it, it, just, it just flew at us. And then in terms of design and, and artistic uh, flair, this place is just exploding. I mean, I, I can't go anywhere without seeing something creative. And so it, it's a great place to be inspired. I mean, I drive to work and I get to pick which mountain range I want to look at on my drive to work. It's amazing, <laughs> living in Cape Town. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Now, what trends are you seeing in the mobile creativity atmosphere? Yeah, so people are, uh, you know, a lot of people are focused on iPad right now. Mm -hmm. They think that's where people want to be create. And I, I love iPads, I think they're great. But man, I, I think there's just freedom in a mobile mm -hmm. device that fits in your hand. And so I'm seeing people strive to figure out how to do everything they can possibly can on their iPhone, on their HTC, on their Nexus, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Um, and so, so it's it's really amazing. Like it's like they actually you, they'll actually have their computer nearby them, <laughs> where they could do this task easier. Yeah. But because this is in their hand and this represents something freer, um, they 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 tend to use this instead. Not only tend, but like strive to use it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's that. The big trend I'm seeing is people just wanting to be more creative on their their mobile device, and and uh, 
And yeah, I mean, everybody's, uh, well, we're not creating promotional ads that we have to print anymore. We're making a promotional ad. We're publishing it where? On Instagram. Right. <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah. On Pinterest. You know, and so, so we, it, it, it's a great opportunity, and we obviously integrate really well with all those. So it works really good. Now, I can't let you leave here without asking you what you think the future for mobile is. The future for mobile? Yeah. Where is it going? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I think it's all about less friction, right? Yeah. Like less and less friction. Um, so I'm a bit of a futurist in this, but I think eventually we're not, I mean, I, I tell my friends, it's, it's so much effort to have to use my thumb. I just want to think and things happen. That freaks me out. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I, I mean, I, I think pro and it will, your kids mm -hmm. will have these devices that they're not even looking at. They're just, you know, functioning with. Yeah. And so you have, you know, the Google Glass stuff is sort of getting there. But uh, actually just last week there was a new, uh, new device that came out with NeuroSky and Google Glass where it's touching your head right here, reading your thoughts, and you're controlling it through here. You're sending emails and taking pictures with your mind. That's freaky. Yeah. That's really freaky. Yeah. I've, I'm a little afraid by that. You know, people, <laughs> people say they're freaked out by it, but mm. you, if, you go, if you take this back 50 years and were to show people pictures of everybody sitting around staring at their phones, they'd be like, that's freaky. <laughs>